let's look at an or example. Same thing as before, when you have the absolute value, we knew before that the inside could be either a positive 9 or a negative 9. But now with that absolute value in equality, it means that we're looking for all the numbers that are greater than positive 9. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 going on up. But because it's an absolute value, that would also include those negative numbers, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12. So we're looking for all the numbers that satisfy that equation. All right, so just like before, absolute value Bob, we're going to take the equation out of jail and write it two times. Remember, we do not change Bob. He just comes out of jail. And then he has two choices, right? He can be good or he can be bad. Now we have to add in that inequality sign. So since he was good here, nothing changes here. It's the same sign. But here, since we changed the 9 to a negative, we need to change that inequality and flip it around right there. All right, now we have two equations to solve just like before. We like this part. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. These cancel out. We're left with 2x is greater than or equal to 14. And then when we divide both sides by 2, we're going to have x is greater than or equal to 7. Same thing on the other side, right? So we're going to add 5 to both sides. We get 2x is less than or equal to negative 4. And we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now remember, at this point in time, this is an OR. So if we've done this right and we graph it, it should look like this. So let's take a look and see. All right, here's my 0, negative 2, and positive 7, not to scale. It's going to be a closed circle, and I want all the numbers that are bigger than positive 7. Okay, this one over here, again, a closed circle. And I want all the numbers that are smaller than negative 2. Beautiful. Looks like an OR. We got it right.